Xbox Game Pass is bursting with incredible open world titles, but with so many options, choosing just one can be overwhelming. Fear not explorers. We swarmed the depths of Game Pass and created the ultimate list of the top 20 open world games you can play right now. From sprawling landscapes to epic adventures, we've got something for everyone. So buckle up and get ready to explore. Kicking off the list with No More Heroes 3, hack and slash games don't tend to have open worlds, which is one of many reasons why No More Heroes 3 is unique. Rowing this game's open world revolves around something other than hacking and slashing things. Here, it's all about cruising the city of Santa Destroy on your motorcycle and tackling wacky side quests. It's during the main missions and boss fights that the game's stylish hack and slash combat comes to the forefront. As you beat the bosses, you will make your way up the Galactic Superheroes rankings. This is all to beat the alien at the top, who has led an invasion on the planet. With its brilliant writing, superlative boss fights, and sublime soundtrack, No More Heroes 3 is one of the best and most fun games you can play on Xbox Game Pass. The next game is Dead Island 2, a zombie-slaying game set in the vibrant city of Los Angeles. However, it's not the Los Angeles you're used to seeing. In the game's promotional material, the place is labeled Hell A, because the city is dealing with a zombie outbreak, so you get to roam around a zombie-infested open world. That would be a horrible situation in real life, but it, it's a pretty fun sandbox for a video game. When fighting zombies, you can defend yourself using various weapons and your character-specific abilities. The game also has RPG elements, allowing you to customize weapons and skills. It's a solid game with plenty of personality, from the beautifully rendered wastelands of Hell A to the equally visceral limb destruction system. There's endless fun to be had here. Number 18 is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. While all recent Assassin's Creed titles have been excellent open-world games, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is definitely one to check out. Building on the improvements made with Assassin's Creed Origins and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, both of which are also very much worth your time, Valhalla takes you to the Dark Ages traveling across England as Viking Ivor to find a new home for your clan. Build your settlement, make new friends, forge alliances, dabble in politics, and explore to uncover the secrets and treasures of Old England. With a massive open world to explore and a combat system refined over the years, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is among the best open world game currently available on Xbox Game Pass. Moving to number 17, we have War Tales, a title unlike any other open world project on Xbox Game Pass. It's an RPG with survival elements set in a dark fantasy kingdom that is anything but forgiving. The game doesn't hold your hand, instead it challenges you to find your own path. You'll create a mercenary group that you must lead to success in a world defined by conflict and war. Rather than a traditional story, the campaign is primarily driven by party freedom and choice, and players have to constantly make decisions that could be unpopular with the rest of the group. Survival is key, with the need to manage food and payments regularly to keep the mercenaries happy. War Tales map is expansive and detailed, although it's structured differently from most open world games. Players travel across a large world map dotted with places like dungeons or villages. Villages are where players interact with NPCs and pick up contracts that lead to turn-based battles in dungeons. The combat is quite good and can be fairly challenging at times. However, War Tales provides many great things and mechanics to differentiate it from other open-world games available on Game Pass. Next up is Far Cry 6. The Far Cry franchise tends to stick closely to its basic formula, which can lead to diminishing returns if you play multiple entries in close succession. However, Far Cry games are very good first-person shooters set in expansive and usually gorgeous worlds. Far Cry 6 features the best gunplay in the franchise so far, along with an awesome antagonist. The game is set on an island under the thumb of a dictator, and players quickly find themselves joining the resistance. The world of Far Cry 6 is vast and beautiful, offering diverse landscapes, from lush jungles to snow-capped mountains and bustling cities, making it one of the best open-world games on the service. The next game on our list is a wonderful farm sim. You'd be hard-pressed to find an open world as beautiful as the one featured in Coral Island. After all, it's a lovely tropical island that serves as your character's new home. Once you get there, you're given a pretty rundown farm to look after. Your main objective of the game is to build it back up. Yet, you can also do several other things as this is a life sim as well as a farming sim. So you can also interact with nearby residents and generally explore the area. Coral Island is a laid-back experience. It looks fantastic. It offers a robust mission system coupled with endless player freedom and has some genuinely unique ideas to boot. Number 14 is Just Cause 4 Reloaded. The Just Cause series is known for its wild open-world games where you're encouraged to cause as much havoc as possible. Just Cause 4 continues this tradition. 
In this game, the protagonist travels to the fictional nation of Sullis, a vibrant island boasting diverse biomes that create distinct environments within this vast world. The size isn't too troubling though, as there are many ways to get around quickly, including Just Cause's signature grappling hook and wingsuit combo. While the story might not be groundbreaking, the core gameplay loop of unleashing chaos is undeniably fun. However, fans of the series should be aware that Just Cause 4 is considered a bit of a step down from its predecessors. Next up is No Man's Sky. When No Man's Sky first launched, it was missing several features and was full of bugs. One of the missing features was multiplayer. However, developer Hello Games delivered on their promises by adding multiplayer, among other things. The difference between what No Man's Sky was at launch and what it is now is like night and day. The open world exploration in No Man's Sky is spectacular. The game's scale is so large that it's impossible to traverse entirely. There is also a story if you want to seek it out. The tale is all about discovering the secrets of the universe. However, you can ignore all that and just explore the interesting worlds you visit. Next up, we have Paul World. Coming out of nowhere and quickly establishing itself as one of Game Pass's best open world games, Pal World is almost unbelievably good, especially considering it is still in game preview. Pal World is an open world survival game set in a bright land filled with unique, colorful creatures. They may resemble Pokemon, but this is no Pokemon game. After all, you can eat these cute creatures if you desire. You can also shoot or catch them. If you choose to catch them, you can put them to work, keeping your base operational while building up your resources. The goal of the game is to live and survive in this world, which sometimes means engaging in shootouts with rival pal trainers. Survival fans will find a fairly accessible experience that offers depth and challenge through its combat and team management. Meanwhile, players seeking to explore a fresh-feeling realm will find a lot to love in Paul World's open world. The next game is Yakuza 0. The Yakuza franchise has mastered the art of crafting small but dense cities that deliver immersion without relying too much on realism. Yakuza 0 features multiple protagonists, each wildly different from the other. Their stories start fairly isolated, but eventually come together in an interesting way. Each protagonist gets their own Japanese city to explore. These maps can be traversed in a few minutes, but they feel much bigger because each street is packed with activities. Additionally, the cities are full of people offering you side missions. Along with its stellar open world, Yakuza 0 tells an awesome story that balances action, character growth, tragedy, and epicness. Furthermore, the optional quests do a splendid job of highlighting different aspects of the cities that might otherwise go unnoticed. Everything combines to create a world oozing with personality and substance. Number 10 is Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves had a somewhat rough launch, but the game has improved by leaps and bounds since its release. Although enjoyable for solo players, this title is best experienced alongside a group of friends because so much of Sea of Thieves depends on the crew making its own fun. As pirates in a vast and gorgeous open world, adventure is constantly at their beck and call as crews seek to complete trade missions, find buried treasure, and survive encounters with creatures like the Kraken or ghost ships. Rare regularly releases updates for Sea of Thieves that introduce new ways to interact with the sandbox and other players who exist within it. Sea of Thieves is truly one of a kind, a rare game that might bring a sea of joy to you. Number 9 is SnowRunner, an immersive and challenging open-world simulation game that transports players into the treacherous terrains of untamed wilderness. As a follow-up to Spin Tire's Mudrunner, this game takes the off-road experience to a whole new level with enhanced visuals and more diverse landscapes to conquer. Set in vast and unforgiving environments, players will need to navigate through thick snow, icy rivers, and muddy trails using powerful vehicles equipped with realistic physics and mechanics. The game's emphasis on strategic planning and skillful driving makes each journey a thrilling adventure. Whether it's rescuing stranded vehicles, delivering critical cargo, or exploring hidden corners of the wilderness, SnowRunner promises hours of engaging and rewarding gameplay, which makes it a must-play if you are looking for a challenging and rewarding open-world game. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up to spread the joy. Number 8 on our list is Fallout 4, an open-world action RPG set in a post-apocalyptic world. Players take control of a sole survivor who emerges from Vault 111 to find their spouse and son missing. The player's goal is to find their son and uncover the secrets of the Commonwealth. Fallout 4 offers players numerous areas to explore with a multitude of side quests to complete. Those who enjoy FPS-style RPGs with expansive worlds to conquer will definitely fall in love with this iconic release as it provides a great open-world adventure. Players can expect to invest a significant amount of time into this game to see and do everything possible. And that's not even counting the DLC add-ons. 
The next game is Sunset Overdrive. Insomniac has spent recent years crafting superhero-themed adventures featuring everyone's favorite neighborhood wall crawler. However, Marvel's Spider-Man was not the developer's first foray into open-world territory. Sunset Overdrive might be one of the more underrated titles of the 2010s, and the game's brilliant movement system ranks it among the best open-world games on Game Pass. Essentially a large playground, Sunset City is filled with rails and zip lines, encouraging players to take to the skies and grind their way above the streets. The gunplay is also fun, particularly once players unlock their full arsenal of weapons. Number 6 is Burnout Paradise. Burnout Paradise is considered a trailblazer in the open-world racing genre, having paved the way for award-winning games like Forza Horizon. Burnout Paradise adapts the series' frantic gameplay to an open-world structure, providing players with complete freedom in how they pursue their racing careers. Although small compared to most modern settings, Burnout Paradise's open world is varied and immaculately designed. Despite its age, no other racing game has come close to capturing the exhilarating sense of speed and adrenaline-fueled races that Burnout Paradise offers. Crashes have a visceral impact, and the lack of licensed cards allows for realistic damage modeling that affects the vehicles as the race progresses. It's no wonder that Burnout Paradise still holds a special place in the hearts of racing fans. For those who enjoy high-octane racing action, Burnout Paradise is a must-have in their collection. Number 5 is The Outer Worlds, a single-player RPG set in the distant future where humanity has colonized new worlds. The game revolves around the colonization of a new star system called Halcyon. Not everyone made it to this new world, though. One ship in particular didn't reach its destination. This means many people are still in cryosleep, which was the case for your character until the opening scene, where you're thought out. Your goal is to explore the different planets in Halcyon and decide what to do with your frozen peers. Each of these planets is its own open world, and you're free to travel between them. The Outer Worlds excels in terms of writing, features a vibrant cast of characters, and offers an impressive amount of player agency given its narrative-heavy focus. In short, it's a fine dose of good old-fashioned RPG goodness. Number 4 is Dragon Age Inquisition. Embark on a grand adventure alongside a group of companions in Dragon Age Inquisition, one of the most captivating open-world games of all time. This title isn't a completely open-world game in the traditional sense, as you're not placed on one giant map and told to get on with it. Instead, there are a bunch of smaller maps that you're free to explore. There is great variety to them, as you visit all sorts of different places and environments. Wherever you go, there are always a bunch of missions to complete and landmarks to find, and no place is entirely safe as all the maps contain enemies. Some of them even have dragons, the gripping story and immersive world will keep you hooked for hours on end, making every moment of your time investment well worth it. Number 3 is Batman Arkham Knight. The iconic villain Scarecrow threatens an attack on Gotham City, causing citizens to panic and flee. However, not everyone leaves as there are still rogues and innocent victims in the city. As Batman, you have various ways to navigate the large city, like using your grapple hook or driving the Batmobile. While traversing Gotham, you can track down villains and bring them to justice. You also move around the city for main missions to Fort Scarecrow and a new enemy called the Arkham Knight. Even nearly a decade later, the game's open world remains a sight to behold. It is visually striking, dense with architecture and dripping in style and personality. Arkham Knight is generally fantastic and features the deepest combat system in the franchise. The next game is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This western RPG was a massive critical and commercial success right out of the gate. It offers detailed customization options and plenty of loot to discover, giving players freedom in how they want to interact with its world. Skyrim's longevity comes from its ability to immerse players in a fully realized world that makes exploration fun and satisfying. The combat might feel a bit dated compared to more recent RPGs, but the game makes up for it with deep customization and build options. The game's main quest is about the customizable Dragonborn stopping a dragon that's prophesied to destroy the world. However, reaching that point can take a long time because the world is filled with things to do. You can spend countless hours traveling around the giant map, discovering new locations, locating items, and completing side quests. Before we move to number one on our list, be sure to check out our previous list of the best open world games on Xbox Game Pass if you missed it. You'll find the link in the first comment. And remember, game rankings can be subjective, and we aim to provide a diverse selection for all kinds of players. Number one is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Not every person who owns an Xbox Series X and S will gravitate toward Microsoft Flight Simulator, but there are undoubtedly people who specifically purchased the console to play this flight sim. 
After spending a year as a PC exclusive, this title made its way to Microsoft's latest hardware even a couple of years after it's launched, a 2021 release is still among the console's most impressive technical showcases. As its title suggests, the game seeks to accurately recreate the experience of piloting a plane, at least to the point that gaming allows. While somewhat realistic, Flight Simulator is relatively accessible by the subgenre standards, so newcomers who have never sat down in a virtual cockpit can rely on a detailed tutorial to teach them the basics. Generally, Flight Simulator's gameplay is structured around flight plans, which are linear by design. However, players are given free reign in how they approach routes, since they can plan their own flights through the world map mode. Essentially, Earth is Microsoft Flight Simulator's open world, and while players might not be able to land and go for a stroll, they can witness the planet's majesty from the skies. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.